so since the last time of streaming to stream in this game i have revised my squads and i also did a lot of digging got all the treasure maps in elheim and i almost said Bastorius in drakenhold and i went and got all the stuff and now i have uh, a whole bunch of items that came from that i have no idea what they all are anymore item oh i have to check here don't i i know that some are like things like this where it's like oh they're just better not talismans better circlets that that's what they are so also i'm a little bit stiffly and sneezy today if it starts getting really bad, then I'll go grab, like, some cold medicine in, like, a BRB break. But we'll see how I end up feeling. The squads, the way that I've currently set them up. I've realized that both Elaine and Gilbert have rapid order. And it's like, oh, well, at the end of the day, they should definitely be in different squads. And then they can both, like, rapid order for those squads. Because there's no point having them both with it here. It's a little bit of a waste. So... I only realized this a little bit later after I put things together and it's like, eh, this is not going to be like my final squads anyway, so whatever. This, it'll still just work for now. What's my idea? Um, what the heck do I have going on here? I made this like a week ago and I've been playing other things here lately, so I got to remember what the heck I was even doing. I'm pretty sure it was just like stacking up a whole bunch of buffs is what was going on here. Here's a mystic conferral. Here's just like, we can heal everybody after Chloe heals us is kind of the idea here. I realized that Chloe's new attack, Hone Spear here, um, is extra potency if the user is buffed. It has 130 physical potency. It does take two AP. And it's plus 50 potency if the user is buffed. And it's like, oh, well, let's uh, have you in the squad that's getting buffs sent around. And this is just gonna stack with like the Cavalier call and just getting raw damage and stuff. and. I'm doing something like that-ish, and I needed a place to put Chloe, and this works with, like, Elven Archer for, like, you heal her, she heals everybody, and yada yada there. This squad is still the same. This squad is still the same. I'm sure I've had, like, some equipment changes. I have also realized that tomes, I'm pretty sure you can give that to any caster type, and I'm fairly certain that the Elven Archers count, yeah, as a caster type. Bow, Infantry, Archer, Caster, Elven. Which means you can actually give these tomes to elven archers. So if I like fully redo these squads later down the line, I might just consider doing some sort of setup with a tome with... Where the heck are they? I really wish that all the separate items like this they had loosely of the same type. It would just stack together. It's so hard to find things sometimes. There it is. Oh, can you not? Why am I getting confused? Who was it that could equip this? Am I thinking of the, uh... Of the Elven Fencers that could equip it that surprised me? Uh... Oh, God. Hold on a hot second here. Yeah, it was Elven Fencers that can equip the Tomes. Is what it was. So I can always factor that into a build. Or into a squad, if I want. Get myself super confused there. My goodness gracious. But yeah, I realize that Elven Fencer here does actually work pretty well. So yeah, this is the same kill squad here. Over here, basically same squad that there was once before, but with an Elven Fencer added for just like extra safety because hey, why not here? This squad over here is my gold squad. So there's a whole bunch of golden eggs around and also Miser's Bracelet. User's unit earns plus 200% gold PP minus one. So that's going to be gold plus 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600%. So this squad, if it continues to stack, it should just be getting like six times the amount of gold because I tried to design this just to be my kill squad. So the idea is Yana deletes people with Trinity Rain and RMS, I just have you doing quick impetus with the black cat of your hood because... If everyone's dead, you shouldn't really need to worry about parrying or anything like that. Um, I can't be doing the act at the beginning of battle stuff because we're doing quick cast. So acting at the right beginning of battle using quick cast Trinity Rain, which grants the user max initiative for their next action and minus 50% critical rate. And then go ahead and act again to cast Trinity Rain. And then Galadmir here. Oh, that was what I found out Elven Archers could have used that I was surprised about is that Elven Archers can use Sorceress Connection, 
The whole grants an ally plus 50% magic attack, grants a user minus 50% magic attack. So I could always factor that into my Auk squad. My Auk, how about, how, I think in game they pronounce it Auk, is what they do. I could always factor that into my Auk squad or something like that. I give him an elven archer that can just like familiar's choker over there. That's what I'm getting mixed up about here. And I did try having Chloe in here. Chloe was initially in this squad because the whole minus 50% critical rate and then she can guarantee critical with Keen Call. And that would actually do a decent bit of damage. But in testing in the mock battles, I found that plus 50% magic attack was actually doing more damage than the guaranteed criticals is what I found in testing at least. So I swapped out Chloe and she went into my first squad just as like a place to put her of like, hey, she'll be buffed here anyway. That'll buff up her attack. Let's have Sorceress connection in here and it is going to absolutely wreck stuff. And then in terms of my other units that I have here, it's essentially just... Here's my initial, hopefully kill everybody. The character that's just going to help with that slash potentially, uh, you know, do stuff here if need be. I don't think I actually have any other heals. In fact, I don't think you're going to be healing at all then. Oh, no, there. That's how I did it. It was the first eight elephants. So just in case I take some damage, we will heal a little smidge here. And then I just, so what am I even doing? Why am I stumbling on my words? I brought in two of my Swordmasters because Swordmasters seem to be like the highest initiative classes. So that if there is anybody still standing on the opponent's side by the time that like the whole Trinity reign is through, then hopefully we kill them before anything happens. And there can be some survivors, especially if someone uses like a cover and ally skill. And then, uh, in which case they might actually be no, the one that would die that uses the cover ally skill will be armored, not necessarily the one that they're protecting. So, hopefully, the physical attacks here would from there be able to finish them off. But yeah, the idea is just, let's get some damage in here. Oh, it's not six times, it's seven times, because Bandit Longsword as well, I gotta remember. I also have Pursuance Bracelet here, so if there is somebody still standing after Trony Rain, the Pursuance Bracelet will activate, and we will just get, like, a quick pursuit. And then both of us will act. Probably with Meteor Slash, we'll use Keen Edge if there's a scout or flying enemy that's difficult to hit. And the idea is everyone is cleaned up before they even get to act. So ideally, we won't even need to heal. Hopefully everyone just dies and doesn't even get the chance to do anything, is the hope. Which is why I figured on this super OP Seaman Squad, I would just put on like the crazy gold setup here. So... And by having a flyer in here, that does also give me the ability to switch Celeste to the party lead and then go around and use this as my kill squad wherever I want to, wherever I want to send this squad. By default, we can have a little bit more stamina and be able to provide assists for other squads if need be here. Oh, you actually have more uh, mobility if you're the leader. Interesting. You'll be able to move a little faster here and the wait time is the same. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll have that for now. But if we need to provide some magic assist, we can switch a leader here. And if we need to fly and go assassinate somebody, then we can switch a leader there. So that's essentially what's going on here. This squad is basically the same. I probably changed around some equipment here. You have the Necromancer's Lantern now. But uh, only going to be doing that if you have like extra PP to be doing so. Otherwise, still prioritize Sorceress Connection. I will probably have Selvi in some other squad, not with Auk. Like, or Auk, however they say it. Um... At the end of the day, since she's my only druid I have access to, unless I get mercenaries and the whole finite mercenaries and finite, finite any consumable in this game, really. Or almost any consumable. It's still the same setup here where it's like I can switch back and forth and provide range assists. You guys have the same mobility, so it doesn't really matter here. Why can't I make leader? Oh, this wasn't letting me for a hot second. Weird. Okay. So that's what's going on there. Over here, here's another kill squad now that I have two of these. I have the black cat ear hood and the white cat ear hood. So, Keitra is just here to do that and then clean up afterwards is essentially what's going on here. We have on Hilda the good old Dragoon Dive here. Because she is aerial wing from the Wyvern reigns here, makes the user's next attack a true strike, grants the user plus 20% attack if the user's at 100% HP. Crim is here to help keep us at 100% HP and Gambler's Coin because it's like, we're not going to, we're not going to miss. It's a true strike. So who cares about the minus accuracy? So this is another, hey, we're going to be acting 
not necessarily first, but super early at least. I brought my initiative as best as I best as I could. And after we start charging Dragoon Dive, we'll be able to immediately, immediately do it. If there's anyone still alive, we'll immediately pursue them and then hopefully clean up here. That's the hope. So yeah, my other kill squad here. So these are my two sweep kill squads is the idea. And then in areas like this is where I started getting a little bit more unsure of like, okay, I need to assign people somewhere. So here's just a squad that can range assist. I'm pretty sure this is still my row of like magic assist, range assist, healing assist. Nope. I guess I don't have a healing assist squad anymore right now. Okay, well, <laughs> there's that. But here's the same setup of Virginia takes hits. Magellan will punish people for doing that. And... Here's just, we're going to do like some conferrals. We're going to get different damage types. If we uh, heal the back row, then Lunalagos will then heal everybody. And then we stay topped up. And this is just meant to be like a tankier squad that can counter attack and do some good damage that way. But it's probably going to be a little bit more defensive. So the whole range assist, it seems like it doesn't increase the potency that that much by having extra assisting members. Because base damage plus 5 times the number of assisting members. So this would be 35 physical potency as opposed to 30 by having both Mandarin and Rolf here is what it looks like. So it's not like a game-breaking difference. But hey, it's something extra. Hello, hello, Mythic. How's it going today? I'll be going things. But this is basically just like physical tank, dodge tank. I can switch who's in the front and... Let's just snipe people and get damaged that way. You're mostly on support just to like gamblers coin those guys is the idea. Um, you do not want to do that for Joseph. Why is that set here? Combatant type archer, please. There we go. Pretty good. Took the Fiat to a car show this Friday and saw some cool stuff. Somebody came in 1953 Hudson Hornet. Whoa, cars intensifies. Uh, but that's pretty cool. I'm going to be taking my Fargo to a car show this coming Saturday. So like six days from now. And uh, I'm kind of looking forward to that. And it'll be my first time doing that in a hot second. Because it's been broken down for nine months. But yeah. So I hope that that was fun there. Hopefully lots of cool vehicles and things. Also, I realized that they... I don't know if I mentioned this during the last stream. I realized that they fixed the text of this. Things like this used to say follow-up skills have plus 40 damage. And I was like, whoa, that's busted. And then it didn't actually do plus 40 damage. I was like, oh, what does it do? And plus 40 potency. It's like, oh, oh, that makes sense. Uh, that makes sense there. So you, yeah, I, uh, I did that. I sent myself a text as like a reminder. So it stayed in my text messages as a one notification to do it. And I, I updated that. Gave that the update there. Um, but yeah, so basically just like, Let's get some things that hit a whole bunch of dudos. Here's Arrow Rain. That's another thing that attacks all enemies. It's charged. I don't have any more hoods, so sucks to suck. Mandarin's going to have to actually charge it. And this is basically my like my, sni my sniper squad that's going to focus more so on uh, doing range assists than, uh, than actually doing damage. Yeah, so rather than having a... Uh, I think I do have... Yeah, I do have some other clerics here. So I could swap one in and go back to doing healing assists but i thought like okay i'll probably do a little bit more damage if i put a satan knight in here because clerics is there any way that they can even do damage to foes or are they just completely support maybe if i give them a certain staff that lets them do an attack if there even is such a thing so i was like all right this squad is in like very little danger of dying let's swap out my uh my cleric and let's put in a sainted knight here which means i won't be able to do healing assists anymore but uh, take less damage from range assist, miss damage from magic assist. And you're going to have a lot, lot more mobility now. So this squad isn't going to be like the slow moving defensive thing. Now it's going to be the fast moving defensive thing that is going to be dealing a whole lot of damage as they continue to do damage to Hodrick. Is the idea. So I won't be getting as good of heals as I would with a cleric. But I get more mobility and I get like more damage is the idea here. And if there's armored dudos, then they'll just get wrecked. Because that was one of the weaknesses of this squad before was the armor dudos. Because like I'm barely doing any damage to them, so that's what's uh, that's what's going on here. So that's my squads now. So I think I'm pretty strong. Recently ordered a 32 gigabyte kit of RAM for your PC. Leave it to you to play Minecraft with so many mods. It keeps crashing due to RAM. That's the only way to play Minecraft. That's how it's done. Whoa, and loads and loads Guzma. Are you feeling rested up? I feel a bit better. Uh, 
I feel a bit better now. I'm still feeling a little bit sniffly and stuff, so if I uh, if I need to back out and get like cold medicine and stuff, then I will at some point here. So we shall we shall see what happens here. Since the last time I did also go around and get all the stone circles that were available, so I have a whole bunch of star iron right now that I can't even use until I make it somewhere in Bestorius. So yeah, was there anything else that I wanted to update on? Or is that all the, uh, is that all the things? I spent a whole bunch of monies. So I'm not quite as rich anymore. To be the case. I feel like once I do this map, it's going to be really long. So is this all just going to be part of this part? Or what am I going to do? Or do I find something else to do that? Oh, I can do this. That is enough to, because they're just thinking, well, I cut this up into parts later. Here's like 15 minutes of chatting where it's like, this map is probably going to take me like an hour, so that should be its own part. And does it just have like 15 minutes of chatting at the beginning? It doesn't need it because there's still a liberation quest here and this could all be a part. Heck yeah. Well, I got up into parts later. You love to see it. The battle for Hildy. Let's do it. Let's show some of these squads. So I need to go over there. I need to capture the enemy command post. So let's see some stuff here. So if I go ahead and deploy Galadmir's unit... I see that there's a trap there, but like there probably wouldn't be one here, would there? But yeah, I'd say it was pretty all right. But my dad started renovating like the basement. He's been tearing up the carpet to uh, want to put in some hardwood floor. So that kind of woke me up and I would have preferred sleeping in a little bit longer as he's kind of hammering away and ripping up carpet and stuff. Um, Let's show squads that I haven't shown before. Here. Some setups here. Here we go. I can deploy one more squad. Uh, let's get my ranged guys out here. And then they can go into a tower. Yeah, in combat, they're probably not going to be super great. But they're focused more on providing support is the idea. Hey. Hey. Well, let's fight here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of bear traps along there. I'll cover you. I got you. Really? All right, fine. We'll withdraw after this. Sucks to suck. Got woken up from your mom who called you and told you to cook some eggs for her because she's also feeling sick. Oh. Oh, yeah. We take big damage to magical assists in this squad. Oh, yeah. And I guess the whole avoiding taking damage can't really happen when there's assists in play. So it is a good thing that my uh, my other squad does have some ability to heal. Well. Yeah. So we can do that. I mean, maybe I can leave this squad out. They would need to heal. Or, I mean, I can do this, too. Here, I'm going to swap out. This is what I'm going to do. Uncooked some scrambled eggs earlier, and then she was feeling so weak that she ended up leaving the uncooked eggs in the pan and left back to her room to lie down. Oh, jeez. Both our households are getting sick here. My mom's been feeling really sick as well. I mean, here I am, all sniffly and sneezy and stuff. All right, look at this squad. Check this out. Oh, yeah. We also don't have to... That was another thing that I forgot about this squad, is we don't even have the negatives to crit rate. So we get magic attack up. We don't even have minus critical because we get debuffs removed. So yeah, this squad just kind of cleans up. Just like I predicted. It's kind of the case. I understand. Is kind of what it does, and it's amazing. End of the road. Well, all right. Here's my snipers. My two normal archers, non-elven archers. He's gonna start using shadow bite once he's high enough level, but he can't right now. But just pretend he's using shadow bite right now. He'll get a. Uh, He'll get better. But yeah. And yeah, I used one of those Thinger Bob's Guzma the other day. One of those vitamin C packets. Because I still had a few in my bag. That I got from your household. But yeah. Yeah, they probably have them around here. I did have one the other day. But like, again, it came from you. <laughs> was kind of the case. Um, sure. Let's go. Someone's coming in here. So if I can conserve stamina, then great. Wrong move and I'm dead. 
Oops. Okay. We're good. We can garrison in there. Yeah, it'll be nice once we can shadow bite. This squad will get a whole lot better. We just need to gain some levels. And I ran out of manuals to be able to level up. I used a whole bunch of them. Getting skills that I wanted. Yes, use offensive curse on him. The one that doesn't care. Bro shot, nice. Okay, using one of your evades. Guess we're not using gambler's coin on uh on Mandarin, unfortunately. Wow, Joseph does like nothing. But he's just here for support purposes. Nice. Critical one. Wow. Wow, does Joseph really fall off? You were sent that way? What the hell is this? All right, I guess we're fighting again. But yeah. Oh, jeez. So progress be happening, but yeah, still a whole lot to do. Hey, come garrison in the thing. There we go. All right, I should probably send out some flyer squads because the traps and stuff. I don't really need to get that. Yeah. I mean, if I defeat them with this squad, then I get a whole bunch of extra gold. So yeah, I think I prefer having an elven archer here with sorceress connection as opposed to having the guaranteed critical of having Chloe in here. I think this is a smidge stronger. That's the impression I'm getting here. All right. Thank you, Dodge Tank. Well. Yeah, I guess they're a little bit resistant to arrows. What with the whole situation going on with arrow cover there. But yeah. Slight bit of a mess. Probably he just wants to leave it for now. That's how I feel with some of my projects around here sometimes. That's how it goes. Okay, nice. Yeah, so basically hit them with arrows until they die is the idea of this squad. Holy crap, Joseph, do you suck? You're so OP in the early game and then you fall off really hard. And then apparently in like the max level in this game is 50. And I've heard that from like level 46 to level 50, he just gets a massive, massive stat boost. So that he gets closer to like everyone else's strength. But he just gets like really, really weak for a while. At max level, he'll be back to being good again, but... Yeah, he really falls off. Jeez. But he's here for support reasons. Get zapped. Well. Okay, well, never hold yourself back then. Here, let's let this squad go finish it off, because, uh... This squad is still one of, if not my best squad. Like, they are very, very strong. All right, range assist. And then another range assist. A lot more damage that time. All right, let's see here. Get him. Quick curse. Well. But you're still all frozen. Have fun doing nothing until we get over to you. Hey. What you gonna do? Oh, well, you're not frozen anymore, but, uh, and that did very little to you. This is fine. I wonder if I can say prioritize those that aren't afflicted. So we leave those that are frozen, frozen. Yeah, I just remember you wanted to know if you had a chance to listen to Tales of Abyss Battle Team. I sent you a while back. I did. I did indeed get lightning bladed. I thought it was a bit of a slapper. Get out of here. Beautiful, lots of level ups. Making ourselves stronger before the final battle of Elheim. And then we'll move on to Bastorius this stream. Will be the case. Here we go. And post liberated. Stage clear. Sweet. <laughs> Let's see here. We might also get to renowned rank S this stream. I'm getting very close here by going around doing like all the all the side content. Yeah, I am gonna get that sweet 
I don't know if I'll get 100% because I didn't do the uh, final boss early in this, in this playthrough. And therefore didn't see the person that possessed Scarlet and my compendium is going to be all the way filled or whatever the heck. Time to just be so pretty before Zenoira showed up. Thank you for saving us from them. No problem. Let's deliver a whole bunch of crap here. And yeah, that's fair there. <laughs> Definitely something has made different. Semblance of norma normality has returned to our town. It's all thanks to your kindness, humans. No problem, oh man. Here, I'll do another delivery. Look how much stuff I have. Is there any more things I need to renovate here anyway? All right, well, I'll deliver some stuff. I might be able to get another squad to five. I don't have any guards to station. Yeah, so until I get that final area, I don't think I'm uh, going to be able to get all those statues anyway. But then I'll be able, or carvings or whatever the heck they are. But then I'll get another king's weapon after this is through. Oh, there's a castle over there. Pretty nice. Hold on. Really quickly here. Whoops. Oh, it's the stupid vines. I just wonder if I can... Did I do this during the last stream? And then I ran out of apples? At some of these places? Or... Unsullied scrap metal. Alright, well, maybe I can't cheese my way to getting another squad of five right now. Maybe not. Here, let's just see real quick. There's some unsullied timber for you. Deliver the requested materials. Yeah, this is the way to get honors in this game. Let's have a whole bunch of people stationed. Get materials over time. I have so much of some of these things. Oh, the ore is from all my mining that I did. I just sell a lot of it. All right, I only have so much unsullied timber. Well, we will get all those squads of five eventually. For more meager timber, not more unsullied timber. Or not lumber. Yeah, you can ask for that. That's a good way to get war funds as well. By doing this. Meager timber, that's what we like to see. Things that I have lots of. Well, I'll deliver these. Right now, at least. Yeah. Well, we'll get another squad up to five eventually. Because I do have several units that just don't have squads assigned right now. Yeah, let's go do the Witch's Word now, how about? What should be the final boss of Elheim, I would assume. There's a few episodes from the Symphonia anime this morning. Nice. I didn't get the chance to watch another last night like I initially thought I would. Zena hopes to settle matters in the Nas Nastherian. Yeah, that, that's probably how it's pronounced. The spire holding the ancient texts of the elves. The tower lies deep in the Forest of Thorns and serves as Zenoira's base of operations for all of Elheim. So this has got to be the final boss of Elheim, right? Surely. Let's do it.